Oh yeah. Nice little banner day here. Having a few packages and one of them I know is not movie related. It's this one right here. That, yeah, I feel like they just threw it in the envelope. Doesn't even feel like it's in a package of any kind. This isn't used, is it? Oh no, it is in a package, but look. Oh weird looking. A uh, USB cable for my PS4 controller. I've been having to sit like real close to the TV. One because I can't find the cord that came with my PS4, but that one isn't very long anyway. It's like I think it's like six feet, four to six feet, something like that. And uh, the chair that I sit in is a lot further from the TV than that, so I still had to sit close. But I can't find the cord anywhere. I did some uh, moving around and don't know where I put it. So I've been using a uh, an old phone charger cord that happens to fit pretty well, but uh, it's not, it, it powers up the controller, it does not charge it very well. This, as you can see, is the real deal, O'Neill. Yeah, there you go. And it's, it's uh, braided. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. There you go. See that? It's a braided cord. Supposedly that's supposed to keep it from getting uh, tangled up too much. Uh, and this is 15 feet. So yeah, I got plenty of room and then some for any unexpected moves that I might make. So happy to have that. Part of my world domination through the PS4. But on a movie related note, at this little gym, they really packed these packages into my mailbox. To my mailbox isn't but yay by yay, and they they put those three packages in there. I was like, oh man, what'd you do? I hope none of these are crushed. Sorry if I sound like crap. I just woke up about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. Got me a copy of this uh, movie that I'd been very curious about. Uh, and I got a little, uh, a little seal of approval from Mr. Daniel Rice, a.k.a. DJ Boy 3275 and his little deaths. Um... Didn't know this until I was reading the description on it. Was that uh, the word orgasm translates to little deaths? Uh, and this is supposed to be of a very sexual nature, um, which is fine by me. Uh, so, shocking, fantastic, uninhibited performances. Supposed to be uh, very. Twisted and depraved and all the things that make movie viewing just that much more special. So, can't wait to dig into that. I think the, uh, you know, they say don't judge a book by its cover. And, and usually I'm pretty good at judging books by its cover. Or actually movies by their cover. Uh, can Sometimes, sometimes you can tell quite a bit about what you get into just by the, the cover of the movie. Like, what are they trying to push? What are they trying to sell? What are they What are they trying to get you to look at to pick up that movie? And if the box art is simplistic and yet a little bold at the same time, I figure, hey, they're, they're going by what's on the inside of this, by the content of the movie, not so much the box art. And then if they, like, really, like, jazz it up with a bunch of, like, just, you know, blood and... And the, the font is all creepy looking and everything. I'm kind of thinking the movie is doesn't stand on its own feet. 
That's my formula. I've been wrong. It's not a proven science. But a lot of times, yeah, that's, that's the deal. Uh, so this, this, uh, I saw this, I'm like, okay, what's with the, uh, with the spine and what's with the, you know, things in her back and then the, it almost looked like a, a movie that I had called uh, Kathy's Curse, which had the box art, the cover art did not match the movie whatsoever. It looked like very brand new art for a movie that looked like it was about 40 years old. And this is what it reminded me of, so I was kind of like, eh, but nope. After Daniel said, uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun flick, man. I dig that. And it was uh, pretty crazy and so on and so forth. I was like, oh, yeah, well, shit. Let's give it a try, shall we? And from our good friends at Diabolic DVD. I like Diabolic DVD. I like their pre-order deal um, I can go either way on the fact that sometimes they'll have movies well a couple of times they've given me release dates the post release dates for a movie and you know when you this when you pre-order from from Diabolic so like I said I just woke up when you pre-order from Diabolic DVD um, you give them all your information and stuff of course and and okay it's done um, they don't charge your card until they send out the movie. So when it says release date on or about a certain date, I'm thinking I, I'm within a day or two of the release date. And I'm like, okay, we've got to make sure I have money on the card or in the bank around that date. And uh, this was supposed to be on the 8th. Release date on or about the 8th. It is now, what, the 7th? Um, and I, and I'm receiving it today. Um, it actually released a few days ago. They released it a few days ago and I was caught short on funds and my account was overdrafted. Luckily I have a grace period where I can get money in there. So I had about 24 hours to get money in the account and I did it and I saved myself an overdraft fee. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, but yeah, I'm glad to finally get this cause I've been, I've really been wondering about this one. Uh, when I saw the, the the box for it, when I saw the, the ad for it on Diabolic, I said, huh. Now, the thing is, I was a little bummed out because when I read the storyline to it, I was like, oh, man, that's kind of a story I wanted to do. But, no, it's, it's different. Man, where are my scissors? There they are. I'm steady trying to rip this package open. I'm glad to find out these things don't rip open so easily. Nor do they cut very easily. Come on, man. I'm old and tired, and there's wolves after me. There we go. Now, when Diabolic sends you a package, hey, they go, they don't just use one form of package. Look, there's one, and zip, two. This one feels like it folded over on itself. But they take they take the time to do it right, you know. They keep your orders straight. They send them in a timely manner. They give you puzzles. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to pieces. and gentlemen, I am now the proud owner of this very, very intriguing movie. At least storyline intrigued me enough to order it. It is The Corpse of Anna Fritz. See those three guys back there? One of them works in a morgue. The morgue that Anna Fritz's body has been kept in. She's a, uh, a movie star and the guy that works there tells his friends hey you never believe who they brought in here running the movie star and the friends do you want to see her and the guys are like oh yeah let's go see her 
So, you know, morbid curiosity takes over and they go into the morgue and, and uh, they start checking her out, but like really checking her out, you know, like full body stuff because they're fans of hers and they think she's very beautiful and who wouldn't take an opportunity to gaze upon a fallen movie star that you have like a major thing for regardless of the fact if she's dead or not that sounded so weird when I said it out loud like that <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know man I think a lot of us we were just really honest with ourselves be like yeah I'd take a look I don't know if she's not mangled and bloodied and stuff and just not looking her best. I mean, if she died of like an overdose or maybe a little heart attack or something, sure, I'd, I'd check out those those boobs. So <laughs> uh, wake up, man. Wake up. Anyways, that's what they do. They go in there and they check her out. And then uh, they get the hot idea to, to make their dreams come true. And they, yeah, they start having sex with her. Now, it looks a little artsy-fartsy in the preview, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the preview. I'm not going to say it here, just in case nobody wants to hear about it, or maybe you're, you're going to watch it, you don't want to know what happens. Um, wouldn't be a spoiler, because it's in the, it's in the preview, but uh, yeah, you can look it up on YouTube or whatever, and you'll see what I mean. Um, I forgot what country it was made in, but... Uh, Everybody's speaking Spanish to each other, so. But that's okay. I like me some foreign sickness. Uh, it just, it looks very, sorry. It looks very tame in its production. It looks very clean, very well done. Um, but so does Aftermath. And we've all, we all know about Aftermath. Uh, the, uh, the other necrophile movie. Um, that's a subject that's just, it intrigues me, the subject of necrophilia. It's not something I see myself ever doing, but the fact that other people can put aside that, I guess, taboo, put that aside for a little while to, to I don't know, it, it's just, I, I've, I know people go through some extreme measures to fulfill their needs um, but some people prefer the love of, of the dead and uh, I don't know if that's a psychological thing or or what um, I mean some people can be very simplistic and say yeah they're crazy but maybe they're not crazy I mean this day and age, this, these are different times, man. Uh, this day and age, uh, a man can wake up and say, today I am a woman. And and be respected and revered and and say, and everyone will fall right in line and say, okay, aside from the fact that you have no female parts in you or you are, okay, you are a woman, we'll respect that. So, is it crazy for someone to say, I'm in love with a dead person? I, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm no longer somebody to say it's, it's crazy or not. I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, that's for sure. But there's a lot of things that people do that don't conform with everybody's tastes. I guess the really bad part about necrophilia is that is that whole, you know, there's no consent from the from the other party. I mean, let's face it, there's you're not going to get any consent from the other party. But uh, but they do love to say at funerals and stuff that they're no longer there. That's just the shell of who they were. They're the, who they are is no longer there. So it's like, well, are they really abusing the person then? Because it's just a shell. I don't know. Been reading like interesting feeds in my uh, my Facebook about like there's a woman who's pregnant with a dead man's sperm. How long does sperm stay alive anyway? That's uh, that's pretty amazing. That you can't get an erection 
Well, no, that's not true because I've heard of angel lust where somebody like hangs themselves or they die and they die with a boner. That's kind of crazy. Uh, so, but anyways, he's not going to ejaculate. She probably had to like use a needle or a syringe. She worked in the morgue, so probably used a syringe to draw out sperm from his nut sack and she got herself pregnant. Uh, that's got to be weird, though. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be weird, carrying around a dead man's baby. I mean, who knows what kind of... I don't know. It just smacks of, of a science fiction slash horror movie where the baby is born without a soul or something. I mean, I don't know. It just sounds very... That, that part sounds a little strange to me. I mean, if she's going to... If she's going to... Do that... Why go? Why go that further step and and have their baby? Unless they're that enthralled with them that they want to have their children. I mean, women do that all the time. I want to have your baby. Okay, maybe she wanted to have this guy's baby. I don't know. It was so outstanding about him as a corpse, but uh, he must have really done something for her. Well, I've talked long enough on that subject. <laughs> I'm. I. I really need to start. I mean, why? Why don't things like you know? birdhouses, building birdhouses appeal to me. Why don't I, why am I not interested in stuff like that? I mean, gee, I'd like to learn how to build a better mousetrap, you know, or, or I'd like to get some tack nails and make myself a shoe shine box. No. Necrophilia and snuff films. Those are the subjects that are always just very interesting to me. And uh, can usually have long, drawn-out conversations about them. Again, not something I see myself doing. But the fact that it's being done, just, it blows my mind. So, in case you forgot, that long-ass talk that we just had, it's Little Deaths and The Corpse of Anna Fritz. As soon as I see these, I will let you know what I thought of them. Till next time, guys. Take care. Enjoy your life. And uh, be good to one another. Yeah. Yeah. Be good to one another. I think that's something we can all adhere to. Thanks for watching, guys. As you know, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for listening to my my ramble there. I, I swear, I don't know where it came from. I really don't. <laughs> Must have been swimming around in there for a little while, and I just had to get it out. So I'll talk to you guys later.